This problem involves a flow of water through a turbine to generate power. The flow rate is 500 cubic feet per second. The turbine efficiency is 90 percent. The head loss is given by this equation where V is the velocity in the penstock. The elevation head of the turbine is 30 feet above the turbine. The penstock diameter is 7 feet and the turbine is located at 5 feet above the tailwater. We assume that the kinetic energy correction factors are 1.0 and we assume steady state flow. The goal is the power produced by the turbine. This problem is relevant because engineers design hydroelectric systems. Water behind a dam flows through a pipe called a penstock. This spins a turbine. This rotating turbine turns a generator and makes electricity. Let's start with a power equation because this has the goal in it. The goal is power and we note that specific weight, flow rate, and efficiency are known so our new goal becomes head of the turbine. One note on this equation, if you bracket these three terms, these are the familiar three terms in the power equation and I went ahead and multiplied by efficiency to account for the fact that the turbine is less than a perfect machine. This becomes our new goal and since this, this variable appears in the energy equation, next let's apply the energy equation from 1 to 2. Locate section 1 on the free surface of the reservoir locate section 2 on the surface of the tailwater because we know information at 2 and at 1 and similarly we'll define our datum at elevation 2. So my new goal is head of the turbine. So I've written the energy equation. The goal appears right here. Here's head of the turbine. The head loss is given by that one equation and then if we go to the free surface of the reservoir, elevation 1, this is 0 gauge. The velocity head is approximately 0 and the elevation at surface 1 is 35 feet with respect to our datum. There's no pumps in the system so this term drops out. And similarly uh, along the tailwater, this term is 0 gauge, this term is approximately 0 and this is my datum so this term is 0. So the reduced form of the energy equation is right here and there's the goal head of the turbine and I have a new goal which is the mean velocity in the penstock. Since this is a, uh, the new goal I'll now write the flow rate equation. So here's the flow rate equation. Mean velocity right here is my goal. Discharge or flow rate is known and diameter of the penstock is known. So I can solve this equation for V. Excellent. I have found the solution path. I have three equations and three unknowns. My three unknowns are the head of the turbine, the power produced by the turbine, and the mean velocity in the penstock. My plan of attack, number, first step is I'll apply this equation to solve for mean velocity. Then I'll use this equation to solve for the head of the turbine and then I'll put the head of the turbine into the power equation and solve for the problem goal. Velocity is calculated with this equation. The velocity is about 13 feet per second. Head of the turbine is calculated with this equation. Head of the turbine is 31.1 feet. Power is calculated with this equation. Power is 1.18 megawatts. Engineers like to understand energy losses. As efficiency of the turbine goes down, the power go down, goes down. Similarly, as head loss increases, we also decrease the power and in this case the head loss is 4 feet the total elevation head is 35 feet, so we've lost about 11 percent of the available energy. If we wanted to decrease head loss, so make the head loss go down, we'd want to drive the velocity in the penstock down. 
by increasing the pipe diameter. That concludes this example. Hope you've enjoyed this.